How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Crypto is broken. The stock market's broken. I want to talk to you today about some of the crazy stuff that's happened in crypto over the last few days and how you can become really rich really fast right now. Now, uh, I'm going to explain this. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to level with you here. I just got back from my bachelor party. We had the red eye flight. I didn't sleep at all on the plane. Got a couple hours of sleep here. So if I stumble through anything, I apologize. But there's been so much that's happened over the last few days when I've been out. I had videos ready, but I haven't been able to talk about a lot of it in my thoughts. So I wanted to make a video really, really badly. This is probably the most I've wanted to make a video in a long time. So if you guys don't mind, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that. A few days ago, actually several times last week, I talked about this token, fame token, they're a partner of the channel, but I, I just wanted to bring this up because they literally did a 200x. They, they're still at 44x. So hit the subscribe button so you get more videos where you can hear about some of these, uh, these types of tokens. Now, there's also a link down there to FTX where you can get some of the lowest fees out there. You also get free trades uh, or you actually get free crypto. When you trade over $10, you get a free crypto. So check out that link, some of the lowest fees out there. They have tons of crypto. They have millions of people on FTX US. So check that link out. Now, the market is down. Crypto is actually surprisingly doing pretty well. Like Bitcoin has been at the same spot for the last couple months. It's actually been on the uptrend over the last, if you look over the last three or four months now from its low. We held the, the line that I brought up several times. We've had this trend line going back over a year now. If you go back right here, right? Uh, I don't have it on trading view, but this line is holding up relatively well. A straight line coming from really uh, late 2020. So we have this line holding up. We haven't broken below that. If we break below it, we're looking at 36, maybe 35, then back down to 33, 30. You know, you can point out a lot of different spots where we could go to. And that's what people are doing now. They're saying Bitcoin's going to go to 19. It's going to go to 25, 30, whatever they say, right? The market, the stock market is also in shambles. I mean, we just had the NASDAQ fall 4% and it's down another 1%. It's in bear market. We've officially crashed. The, the NASDAQ's crashed. Every single crypto has crashed. Uh, Amazon crashed in one day, pretty much. 14% down. And this is not the only stock, right? PayPal, Facebook, uh, Amazon. Uh, so many different companies have fallen 10, 12, 14, 20%, 25%, 30% in a day. And I'm getting to something here. The, the market's broken, but I'm getting to something. I'm getting to how you can make a lot of money in this market. You are part of the worst market in the last 20 years. I mean, take a look at this. Nothing else is close, right? We've fallen down a significant amount. Uh, this is the global uh, index. So like everything combined, over 10% down. Unbelievable. Now we do have a couple big events happening this week for crypto and for stocks. This is gonna be a, probably a pretty interesting week. So we have the FOMC meeting May 3 through 4. So Wednesday, right? They're gonna say what we're gonna raise. We expect 50 basis points. They said that they might front load it. Maybe it's 75 basis points. Maybe it's 100. There is some priced in, I believe, above 50. So there's a chance we get 75 because they said we might front load it. So if we get 75, we'll probably fall. If we get 50, we might actually have a pretty good day. Now, we also have some other stuff coming up. Victory Day for Russia. This is something I had never really heard of. But it's a, it's a day known for Russians uh, with their defeat of... Nazi Germany. This is May 9, one week from today. A lot of people think this might be one of two different things. One, it might be Russia saying that uh, they have come up to some agreement with the Ukraine, it's over, and then the markets will probably go up, right? There's uh, less uncertainty. The other thing is they might say that this is the next step in their war. Maybe, maybe they're saying that they are going to make history by finishing this war. We're going to put more money into it. We're going to send out more troops. We're going to, we're going to cause more violence. There are two different options, right? So either way, we'll probably get, we'll probably get some clarity on that in a week, but hopefully, hopefully it's just over, right? They get some of their territories. They came up with some agreement and then it's over. So those are two big events coming here soon. 
We also should talk about some of the stuff that's just happened over the last few days. Solana, out. Just out for seven hours, right? So they had their seventh outage in 2022 as bots invade the network. Four million transactions per second. Now they did do, uh, they did stop this. They basically said that you had to spend, I believe it was 89 cents. Yeah, 89 cents or 0.01 Solana at the time of this writing, charging the wallets. Um, so that way they didn't have these bots continue to crash the network. Now made it made Solana's price fall. But to be fair, everything has fallen recently, right? So Solana is not the only crypto that's fallen. There have been a lot over the last couple of days, like even Phantom, right? People are worried about a uh, big whale getting liquidated on Phantom. It fell significantly. We have other cryptos like Kronos down 13% of the 24 hours. So it's not just one crypto that's falling down. Even ApeCoin. Let's talk about ApeCoin for a second. ApeCoin made a crazy one run. It was up 100% basically from where it is right now because of their land sale. Nearly $100 million was spent on gas fees for the Board Ape Yacht Club. Some, I, I can't verify this, but I heard some people were paying $30,000 gas fee. The average, much lower than that. But for a short amount of time, there's insane usage. I mean, look at the last seven days. 106% net reduction. Look at the last month. Only 50%. So people were paying insane gas fees just to be part of this NFT uh, craze. This, this new plot of land that you can get in the metaverse for the Board API Club. And you could, have, you could have multiplied your investment overnight. So with all this in mind, what can you do to make money? What should you be thinking about right now? Because honestly, it's a really scary market. Bitcoin's doing well. You know, it's holding up. I mean, I, I shouldn't say it's doing well. It's holding up well. It stayed basically sideways for three months as everything else has burned, right? Other cryptos, haven't done so well, right? Seven day, a lot of cryptos down 15, 20, 30 uh, percent. You know, like I said, in the stock market, a lot of stocks down 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 99 percent from the highs. Honestly, there's some down 95 percent. Uh, so this is the worst market in 14 years. This is, I think, something you need to remember. And I know I've said it a lot on the channel, but it's true. This is the best time to get rich, right? You don't, if you want to get wealthy, you don't want bull markets, never ending bull markets, right? I mean, that's been great if you could accumulate back in 20, you know, 2007, 2008, 2009. But if you, if you didn't have a significant amount of money to put into the market, then it didn't really help you a ton, right? Like the market, you want to be able to get in when the market's low. And that's where we're at now. This is the best opportunity in my mind since 2007, 2008. And a lot of it, a lot of it is stuff that's gonna be taken care of in a few years, right? Okay, the Fed raises rates back in 2022. When you're retired, are you gonna remember that? You might remember it because it's a historic market, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna throw off your retirement 10 years from now, 20 years from now, right? The Russia-Ukraine war, the supply chain crisis, right? All this stuff, uh, Solana going down for a few hours. All this stuff is going to be taken care of. So this is the best time to get rich because we have some of the best prices. This ha this market has a lot of fear priced in, as you can tell, right? I mean, people are worried about so many different things. Uh, but if you have a long-term horizon, if you're looking two, three, four, especially you know, uh, four or five years out, the the prices that you're getting on some of these assets are insanely cheap, right? I mean, we're talking about tech companies like top top tech companies trading for under 10 PE ratios, uh, 10 to 12, I should say. That's insane. So I think there are a couple things you have to do right now. First of all, make as much money as possible. And that that's obvious, right? If you can pick up side hustles, if you can pick up something that scales, that's even better, right? Try to work as much as possible to get, you know, $100 extra, $50 extra, 1,000, 10,000, wherever you can do. This is the best time to do it because whatever you do now, if your investment 2X is, well, it's like you made double as much per hour. So do that. Second of all, invest smart. I think five to 10 X's are on the table for crypto. Five to 10 X's are on the table over the next two, three years. We're in a bear market. Everything is in a bear market, like I said. So five to 10 X's are on the table. Think about that. You make $20. Okay, that's really $200 a couple of years from now, okay? Two to three X's are on the table for stocks and even more than that for a lot of smaller cap stocks probably, right? If we turn into a bull run, 
Fact is, Amazon, it's gonna 2X in the next couple of years. Tesla, it's gonna 2X in the next couple of years. And I'm trying to be conservative, right? Google's gonna 2X in the next couple of years. All this is easy money. It's baked in. I think there's no question about it. Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor to your research, but so many of these uh, assets are down so much and they're still fundamentally strong, right? So those are on the table. Just don't be reckless. You know, when I say invest smart, don't be reckless. Don't go pick the 10, you know, the 5,000th crypto that has some story about a game or something like that. If, if you're going to do that, just know that it is, um, it's a very calculated bet. Like, like a fame token, right? At 200 X, that's fantastic. You could have seen that this might have happened because of the fact that, you know, their other tokens had 40, 50, 100 X, 175 X. And you can make calculated bets like that, but don't make it on something stupid. And that just probably comes along with being in the market for a long time, but don't, don't lose track, right? Don't go a month or two without investing in a really high quality, low risk for the long-term asset like Bitcoin, you know, uh, Amazon, Tesla. These I think are really good companies and good cryptos. They're going to be just easy, easy money. So just keep that in mind, right? If you're investing outside the top 100 in crypto or some stock that you know has a big catalyst, you can make money, but don't bet the farm. Make sure that you're still putting money away, just safe, easy, easy money. And this is one of those times where I'm I'm looking at actually taking money out of passive income investments, like, like Anchor Protocol, right? They just changed their rate, so now they pay 18%. You have to realize that's coming down. So they're gonna come down to 11 or 12%. These cryptos and these stocks are looking so good compared to that. I mean, uh, when we look, it's great to get 18%, but this is one of those times where it makes more sense to start looking at maybe even pulling money out of those investments because over the next five years, Bitcoin, probably five, 10 X's. Anchor, you'll double your money in five years. So start looking at that, right? Start considering it. This is the time to start taking money out and not, you know, dump more money into, you know, lower, lower passive income investments. That's just my opinion. It is nice to have money on the sidelines. I'm not going, I'm not saying to take all your money out, right? And again, I can't tell you what to do. I'm not saying to take all of it out, but maybe take five or 10%. We have a huge capitulation day and Bitcoin goes down to 33K. Maybe you take 5% out of whatever stable coin you have and throw it in Bitcoin. Uh, especially if you've been accumulating some stable coin. You know, I don't think you'll regret it when you look back five or 10 years from now, right? If Bitcoin is at five or 10 grand, five or 10 years from now, there's probably a lot of risk with stable coins. So just consider that. So keep working towards your goal. Don't go a month or two months without investing in something really high quality and just be patient, right? Just know that the more you stack now, the more you buy right now, the, the richer you'll be later and you won't regret it. You won't regret it. I promise you that. Uh, you won't regret buying these great quality assets in a few years. So thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I can get off my soapbox now. I'm so excited to be back and I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Again, hit the subscribe button so you can get more content like this where I you know, talk about some big explosive cryptos or stocks uh, and just you know, cover the news, keep on track. Thank you guys. Check out FTX and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.